The best way to fail at any game development is to never try. But let's assume you do try. Here's how to fail. Puzzle games are easy, at least that's what you need to keep telling yourself as you try to make one. That way you'll feel extra frustrated as you discover how hard it is. And if you never discover how hard it is, that's also good, because if you're having an easy time designing puzzle games, it means your game probably sucks. Designing a puzzle is a fine art. Anybody can do it, but not everybody can do it well, which is great. Statistically, you're all set to fail. I know in this series I've always stressed how much you don't really need to play test anything, but puzzle games being one of the hardest to balance genres out there probably need it even less. So more than ever, you should believe that you know a good puzzle when you make one and skip playtesting altogether. And on top of this, if people playtest your game and learn the solutions, then they won't want to play the full game when it finally comes out. Now when it comes to puzzle games, not only do you need to craft an original complex system as any normal game might have, but you need to design it so that the mechanics are revealed through natural mental challenges that arise from normal interaction with this complex system, leading to deeper insights and mastery with progression, which means you also need to discover all these deep mechanics yourself with painstaking hours upon hours of testing, then come up with ways that the players will not have too hard but also not too easy a time discovering all the mechanics themselves through puzzles. <sighs> Or you could just have some buttons, boxes, and keys that need to be found and moved in the right order. Yeah, that's a lot easier. I mean, I mean, technically, it's still a puzzle. Besides, people enjoy pointless steps. So the more unnecessary component of your puzzle is, the better. Throw as much fluff in there as you can. I mean, technically, it's still a puzzle game. When designing a puzzle, you want the solution to be one of two things. Stupidly obvious or insanely obscure. You want the player to feel either bored to death because they have to complete a bunch of arbitrary steps clearly laid out for them, or frustrated to the extreme because the solution requires knowing the favorite colors of the first four presidents of the United States and inserting that combination in order while jumping. I mean, technically, it's still a puzzle game. Otherwise, the solution should be hidden behind mechanics the player hasn't yet learned about. No need to introduce important puzzle mechanics through smaller, simple puzzles. No, instead, it would be much better just to throw in a new mechanic as the solution to an already convoluted puzzle. I mean, technically, it's still a puzzle game. And can you imagine if the objective of your puzzle was the first thing a player saw or learned about when entering a play space, giving them the motivation to figure out how to achieve it? Nah, that's dumb. The player doesn't need to know what the objective is. Plus, it will save you a lot of time, because if the player has to figure out what it is they're even supposed to be doing, that in and of itself is technically still a puzzle game. Speaking of motivation, crafting a nice story around the mechanics of your puzzle could be a way to help nudge the player along, as they are not only interested in learning about the mechanics, but also finding out what happens next. So obviously, the only way to do this is to have the player escaping from a laboratory, potentially guided by a sarcastic AI voice on the intercom. Yeah, that seems pretty original. A reasonable person might tell you to introduce a mechanic in a simple way, then have a few levels or puzzles playing with that mechanic, then subvert the player's expectations by using the mechanic in an unusual way, but in a way that still makes sense, so that the player might say, oh, of course, giving them that aha moment we all crave in a good puzzle game. But we are not reasonable, and we are not trying to make a good puzzle game. So instead, just have several mechanics that don't really have anything to do with each other, and then commence the boring repetition of basically the same puzzle over and over again with increasingly more steps. I mean, technically, it's still a puzzle game. And if you follow all these instructions carefully, then you are bound to make a puzzle game. Technically, it's still a puzzle game. Thanks for watching, and you know, technically every game is probably a puzzle game if you break it down far enough. Maybe everything is a puzzle. But I don't know, that's for someone else to figure out. Wait a second, figure out? That's what you do in a puzzle. I think I... I think I just made a puzzle game. Now I just gotta publish it on Steam and make a million dollars.